it's another Max Olympiad question. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. Just stick around and see how we are going to solve this. It's actually very interesting. Now, we are asked to solve this. In this kind of question, there is only one knowledge. Okay, there are some knowledge you need to know, but let's just start with the basic one. The first one is that, you know that when you have, for example, 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2, okay? It's the same thing as 1 over 2 times. That is, if you change your division to multiplication, you are going to get what? You are going to take the inverse of the other number. So it's going to be times 2 over 1. That means 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2 will give you 1. All right? So the essence here is that when you see division, you turn it to what? Multiplication. But when you turn any division to multiplication, you have to take the inverse of any number or any fraction following your division sign. So we are going to apply exactly the same thing here. All right? So applying that same thing here, we are going to write that this is equal to square root of 1, 2, 5, 1 over 25 times, once I put this multiplication, I'm going to change everything here to what? 25 over 1, all right? So it's going to be 25 over 1 times 25 over 1 times 25 over 1 times 25 over 1, okay? So we go ahead and divide this by this and... You are going to have 25 times 25 times 25. So this is equal to square root of 25 times 25 times 25. Okay, note that this is the same thing as square root of 25 to the power of 3. Right? Yeah, it's the same thing as 25 to the power of 3. Now, note and remember that in indices, Square root of a is the same thing as what? a to the power of half. Square root of a is the same thing as a to the power of half. That is, if I want to remove this square root sign, I'm going to raise a to the power of half. So in the same manner, in the same way, relating this to this, that means that if I want to rewrite this 25 to the power of 3, square root of 25 to the power of 3, that's all I need to do is... To do what? 25 to the power of 3 raised to the power of what? Half. Okay? Now, remember also that a to the power of b raised to the power of c. Okay? is same thing as a to the power of b times c. Alright? Yeah, that is when you have two powers on a particular number. You multiply them out. Just multiply the two powers out so that you get only one power for the number. So that is exactly what we are going to do now. But before that, if this is the first time you are tuning into this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Then he, um, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. And also don't hesitate to like comment and what share thank you so much so we are going to apply what i just explained to this that means that this is same thing as 25 to the power of three times half will give you three over two right okay there is another law of indices and that law says that a to the power of x okay let's use x to the power of a over b is same thing as the b root of what x raised to the power of a okay the bit root of x raised to the power of a so we are going to apply the same thing here here so it means that 25 to the power of 3 over 2 is same thing as square root of 25 raised to the power of 3 all right so this is equal to square root of 25 we give us 5 to the power of 3 now this is same thing as 5 times 5 times 5 which will give us 1 25 and this is the solution thank you so much for watching and do have a great day bye